What's going on, guys? This is James Allen. I am recording this on Friday, November 21st, 2025. I have some tragic news to share with you guys today. That is, I personally believe that Internet Computer's fully on-chain model will not work. It will be a massive flop, just like I call Caffeine AI will flop. I'm telling you, this fully on-chain model will flop too. And before I get into the explanation as to why this is going to be the case, I do want to address some of the uh, pushbacks I've gotten on the last episode where I called ICP a managed cloud. A lot of people were saying, no, it's not a managed cloud like AWS. You know, you don't know what you're talking about. But all you really have to do is look at Dom's post itself, right, on Twitter. So I'm going to go read <laughs> Dom's post right now. This is what he said two days ago. He says, AWS outage, no problem. Cloudflare outage, no problem. So he's comparing ICP to centralized cloud. <laughs> oh, you can't make this up. All apps, websites, DeFi, enterprise services, AI models, etc. built running on the internet computer. This is a key here. The only blockchain that holds real apps fully on chain. So he's hedging that like what gives ICP, um, uh, what makes ICP superior over other chains is that they host applications fully on chain. Again, the only blockchain that hosts real apps fully on chain continued running flawlessly. You guys know this, right? So this is Dom himself comparing ICP to other cloud services, which is what I said. ICP is a cloud with tokenomics and saying this is the only blockchain that could host your application in the end on chain. And I'm telling you, I think this business model is in trouble. Like after reading Casper's VProgs, I know this is not the way to go. Definitely is going to have to pivot. But let me get into just the three reasons why this fully on-chain stuff is, ain't going to pop. The first reason, as a developer myself who have applications on the App Store, both Google and Android, that people are using, right? Someone just did three missions in one day on my app, guys. Three. I want you to think about that. They went to three different locations in the city found a cityscape sticker, scanned it, and claimed the artifact, which will be an NFT. If ICP had supported this, it would have been an NFT on ICP, right? But I guess CASP was going to get it when they could support that capability. As a person, a developer who has applications in production that people are using, I see no justifiable use case to putting my front end on a blockchain. What's worse, mobile apps already control the front end layer guys you guys saw how rather than build um uh, a responsive web application that people could use on their mobile phone i built both the ios and android application natively because that native app experience is really the end all be all for the front end so mobile applications already control the front end layer guys so it makes no sense for a blockchain to host front end when the app stores are the gatekeepers for the front end layer, guys. It, it makes no sense. I have no justifiable use case for Cityscape to put the front end on a blockchain because the front end is monopolized by the app store. This is why I built both of them natively. Even though I don't want to, I would rather hire an Android developer. Like, I'm getting killed out here, guys. I'm getting killed out here in terms of workload. Anyway. Mobile apps already control the front end layer. There's no point for the blockchain to host the front end. Pretty simple. The second reason is the migration Definity expects to happen is never going to pop. No company is going to migrate their application from an enterprise cloud computing to the blockchain just for better cybersecurity. That's never going to happen. Migrations are too much of a high risk painstaking operation like i just did a migration not too long ago for cityscape because my data model is being restructured and guys it was painful yesterday during that migration right you can you imagine little cityscape it's painful for me to do a migration on little cityscape can you imagine large enterprises which already have applications running on traditional cloud like aws or google cloud they're not gonna migrate to the blockchain dude they're not gonna migrate to icp for you know, better cybersecurity 
when traditional cloud computing already serves their need perfectly. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. They're not going to take on this high risk migration operation for better cybersecurity. That business model, that hope, that assumption is potentially fatal. But the third part is really where it's at, because the third part is where my viewpoint got corrected. I told you guys I've been spending the last few weeks reading VProgs, and I spent like the last week just going over it over and over seriously. And it became clear to me that blockchain is not a compute layer. That's the number one thing I've learned from Casper's VProgs. It made that super clear to me. Blockchain is not a compute layer. Blockchain is not a database that you deploy apps to, guys. That's what Casper VProgs made me see. Blockchain is not a database you deploy applications to. It's a ledger of truth. It's not a compute layer. It's a truth layer. And VProc does that perfectly because rather than do computation on chain, what the VProc do is they do the computation locally on their node, right? And they submit that commitment, which is the state transition from the computation result, plus the proof to the network. And any full Casper node could verify that proof. They out-engineered internet computer by a thousand, guys. It became clear to me that computation should not be on chain. And that's Definity's entire business model. In fact, if you go to Definity's website, you would see that cycles are units of computation. <laughs> Guys, that's their entire model. Cycles are computational unit. So Definity is making the assumption that application should be hosted on a blockchain. And Casper proved to me that blockchain are not meant to host application end to end or at all. They're not a compute layer. They're a truth layer. If you care about computation, what you really need is the commitment, the state transi transition, and the proof that can be verified if you care about computation, which is a much more superior and scalable way of um, uh, creating a blockchain network than what Definity is doing, which is just blockchain sharding through subnets, right? So one thing you also got to realize, right? This fully on-chain stuff, this hosting application fully on-chain stuff, no one else is doing it. Solana's not doing it. Ethereum's not doing it. Cardano's not doing it, right? No other network is... Definity is using an approach that the entire industry has already rejected. <laughs> the entire industry has already rejected the approach Definity is taking. Yet, Definity think they have an edge. No, they don't. This is why I am certain Casper will eat their lunch. And me personally, I'm jumping shit. I already told you, I'm jumping shit. I'm using my ICP staking income to buy Casper. But do what you want. This is not a channel for financial advice. This is a channel where me, as a developer, tell you what I see. And this is the warning I'm giving you. Definity, if you're watching, pivot now. Pivot now before it's too embarrassing for you, Definity. Pivot now or die on that sword. Your pride, your pride is what's been stopping you from reaching out to me, right? Well, feel free to die on that sword, Definity. Nothing's going to change. You know what they say. Pride comes right before the fall. In any case, my misfits, that's all I have for you in this episode. You know what to do. Don't forget to press that like button and support me on Patreon. I will see you next time.